Guys, Ed Walters here in the next edition of the How to Play series. It's a question from YouTube subscriber Karen Slack on how to play from harder compact bunkers. Um, Karen saying here, golf course, they get uh, a lot of hard compact bunkers. Um, you don't really need to be a Lynx course to have them as well. Some Parkland courses get them, they have issues with bunkers. And in this can also go for when bunkers are a little bit wet and it's been raining um, and it's really really difficult to get that sort of bounce angle the sole of the club to go down underneath the sand and throw the cushion of sand out so I've got two options with two balls here I've got two options option number one is to play it a little bit more like you would do if you were playing a chip shop so we're going to take a, a fairly narrow stance you know if you can get your feet in a little tiny bit then you know wriggle your feet in a little tiny bit if there's a fraction of sand there if it's really wet and sort of sludgy you probably won't be able to do that if the sand's wet um, and then we want to sort of grip halfway down the handle so we're in here because we don't really want to sort of dig into any sand we just want to scrape it we're going to have some pressure on the lead side and we're going to make a little bit of an arms move going back and from here it's a little rotation of the hips as if you're playing a pitch shot and you just want to nip the ball and then a fraction of sand as you go through now if it's wet nipping the ball and a bit of sand is great because it'll add that little bit of spin if it's not wet like this bunker isn't here but it's fairly compact there's not a lot of sand in it um, then if you take a fraction of sand before it as well that's fine so let's play this first one so almost like a normal uh, pitching and chipping setup for me I like a square setup and then get a little bit of rotation to get that left hip out of the way and then we just want to get this one up and out and let it bound onto the green so there we go so we've popped that one out there nicely and we see that from down the target line view that's great then shot number two would be to open the club face a fraction Go into a widened stance, so still a square on stance, but we want to open the club face that little bit. Again, if you can get your feet in there a little bit, that's great. And then what I want you to do is I want you to set your hands, instead of having your hands forward in there, I want you to set your hands back a little bit. Yeah, so the head's a fraction in front of your hands, and then this is going to be a real sort of handsy shot. So we're going to be going up a little bit and then really throwing the head down and under the golf ball as we go through so the body is really quiet in this one so from back here we're going to throw it down and i want you to try and get that little bit of sand as you go through this one so weight a fraction onto the lead side open the club face a little handle back a fraction so it's leading away from target and then a little wristy and you hear the bounce off the compactness because there's nothing under there other than some hard ground and maybe a few stones. But we see there how the ball just comes out. Now, practicing this technique then starts to get you the control of your distance, how much you're gonna really need to move the wrists to get the feel of the ball coming out and down there towards your target. But really nice question. Thanks for the question, Karen. Hope this helps. Two different options. If it's really, really wet sand, I would say option one of playing it more like a chip shot or a pitch shot is great. And if it's dry and compact, option one or option two, depending on how confident you feel and how well you practice them. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Uh, loads more in the series of how to play. Loads of videos already on there and lots to come as well. If you want to know how to play any particular shot or from any situation post your comments in the box below really want to hear from you guys this is all about helping you so the more you post in the comment boxes the more i can help you guys on the golf course follow me on social networks links are in the description below and i look forward to seeing you guys again next time thanks for watching